Hi. The diesel four-cylinder engine with a volume of 1.9 liters seamlessly departs more than half a million kilometers, however, the tandem, poor quality oil, and sloppy owner will ruin any perpetual motion machine. Bad lubrication will mark the beds of the camshafts with scuffs, pump injectors will die from cheap tractor diesel fuel. The older brother of the four is a five-cylinder 2.5 TDI. It has an aluminum block with plasma sprayed cylinders. From bad diesel fuel, dirty oil, overheating and torsion, the spray will peel off in layers, and the engine will go to the workshop for a sleeve. But if the motor was protected from these misfortunes, it should run 500, 600,000 km before overhaul. Another difference from the 4 is in the complex but strong timing drive with gears. Because of it, the 2.5 liter engine sounds louder and louder than the 1.9 diesel. It was assumed that such a drive would last forever. In fact, the gears need to be updated plus or minus after 200 to 250,000 kilometers. In 2009, the T5 changed its engine range, receiving 2 liter engines with 1 and 2 turbines. That's just a steep dual boost came out unreliable. However, not only dampers and turbines have become the weak link of the powerful 2 liter version. Almost new cars ate as much as 2 to 3 liters of oil per 1,000 kilometers. With such a serious appetite, the piston rings lay quickly and firmly, and the motors required a bulkhead. In 2013, Volkswagen changed the design of the pistons. The problem receded, but did not disappear completely. And only after the generation change did they find out the exhaust gas cooler was to blame for the oil burner. It corrodes from the inside, and aluminum chips, getting into the cylinder, become an abrasive that grinds the parts of the cylinder piston group. The most powerful versions of the 2-liter engine have a block of balancer shafts. They are twisted by a frail strap that will have to be updated. Ideally, with each replacement of the timing belt, prescribed for runs from 80 to 100,000 kilometers at the same time it is better to change the coolant pump. Finally, until 2011, Volkswagen put an unsuccessful plastic casing covering the timing drive. When the auxiliary drive belt broke, rubber pieces flew under the timing belt. He was also torn, the valves met with the pistons, the motor went to the capital. The simplest and cheapest is the atmospheric 8 valve 2.0 for 116 forces. You live with it for a long time, just change the timing belt after about 100,000 kilometers, but 116 horsepower not enough for a minibus. A good way to get more traction is to look for a supercharged 2.0 TSI. Since 2012, the engine has gone to 150 horsepower, and a year later to 204 horsepower. These are motors from the EA888 series, which is famous for its irrepressible oil burner. But this does not concern owners of commercial VWs, there are fours with a fresh block, head, and piston. True, looking for a Transporter C 2.0 TSI is still a hassle. There are too few of these cars. With the most powerful 3.2 liter VR6, the Transporter rides perfectly but for the time beings until the timing change starts to make noise. The younger motors were supposed to have a 5-speed, and 6 steps were the privilege of more powerful versions. Mechanical boxes are generally durable, although any unit can be killed. For example, never changing the oil at all. But even such barbarity is unlikely to finish the box before 200,000 kilometers. You should not miss the rattling from the clutch past your ears, a signal that it is time to change the dual mass flywheel. Delay may end with a broken starter and a broken box body. Do not pull and replace the input shaft bearings. It is better to change when you hear a slight rustle. If they catch a wedge, repairs will cost much more. Monitor the condition of the anthers of the drive shafts. If cracks appear, change them promptly. And don't forget to stuff the hinges with grease. A new CV joint is expensive. Before the restyle, it was a cool six-speed Eisen, which was specially strengthened for tough commercial operation. The Asian six-step serves without problems for 300 to 400,000 km. Just do not forget to change the oil in it every 40 to 60,000 km. 
After the update, a robotic DSG appeared, the unreliability of which the owners of passenger models of the Volkswagen concern know firsthand. However, a wave of failures and breakdowns bypassed commercial Volkswagens. They got a strong DQ500 unit. True, before the big revision of 2011, the pre-selective had the habit of kicking and pushing, but then the box was radically improved. The resource of this transmission is up to 300,000 kilometers with regular maintenance. The 4x4 version with a Haldux clutch is not exactly a crossover, but it can drive along a snow-covered country road. The main thing, change the oil in the clutch after 50 to 60,000 kilometers, then the knot will last under a third of a million kilometers plus. You need to monitor the condition of the drives and gearboxes. The T5 uses the classic scheme McPherson struts in front and oblique levers in the back. Hodavka came out practical, durable, and almost without weaknesses. Only the rear silent blocks of the front levers and the support bearings of the shock absorber struts caused complaints. But these are trifles, especially since after 2009 they began to install stronger bearings. The unequivocal plus of the suspension is survivability, and the minus is that it is tough. A simple upgrade will help to slightly improve the behavior. We introduce silent blocks from the armored version, tires from the crossover, and we get everything the same, only softer and more pleasant. Chip body, thanks to environmentalists who insisted on the use of water-soluble enamels. Any chip must be quickly repaired. Otherwise, a small dot will grow into a large bald spot. If you are going to operate the transporter for a long time and a lot, it makes sense to seal the sandblasted parts of the body with a transparent film. And put the steps, they will cover the flat sidewalls from sand and stones. It would also be nice to regularly coat the sliding door mechanism with silicone grease and along with all the seals. With age, hardened rubber bands begin to rub the paint. The T5 is ready to pull trailers too, because the branded tow bar with a removable hook is a certified option. But remember, when turning back on such a tractor, you must be extremely careful, because when installing the towing unit, the amplifier is removed from the rear bumper. You can implement the tow bar yourself, but then you will also have to embed a coordination unit so that the lights on the trailer are lit. It is worth replacing the regular battery with a capacity of 60 ah with a more capacious one. After all, the supply of electricity in the native battery is often not enough to spin a diesel engine in winter. If you know of other breakdowns or malfunctions, then tell us about it in the comments. Your review can help others when choosing a used car.